Hi, welcome to Now and Later, Backmarket's new series where we break down tech news with tech experts. Today, we're talking about the Apple Keynote and the iPhone 15. I'm Claire. And I'm Dylan, the tech expert. I'm the non-expert, obviously. So, Dylan, can you walk us through the Apple Keynote today and what was announced? Sure, so they announced kind of four main things. We have the Apple Watch Series 9, the second generation of the Apple Watch Ultra, the iPhone 15, and the iPhone 15 Pro. And the iPhone 15 was the star of the show. Along with the iPhone 15 Pro, yeah. Okay, and that's why he's the expert. <laughs> <laughs> so what were like the top three things in the 15 that were new this year? So they brought over the processor from last year's iPhone 14 Pro into the iPhone 15, along with the camera from last year's iPhone 14 Pro. Uh, bringing that up to 48 megapixels, which is nice. And then the one that kind of all of us were anticipating and knew well before the keynote announced it was the transition from Lightning for the uh, charging port up to USB-C now. Okay, so we're seeing some like upcycling vibes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the USB-C port, that's kind of a big deal. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the kind of nicest part about it is now all of your Apple products will charge with the same cable. You have your MacBook, iPad, and now the iPhone. It's amazing. It's almost like they could have kind of done that from the beginning. Probably. So so for the 15 Pro, what yep. are the big changes we're seeing there? Yeah, so we have the, once again, the transition from Lightning to USB-C. Uh, we also have the material that the frame is made out of, which changed, which now goes, instead of it being stainless steel, which is kind of heavy, but very durable, to titanium, still very durable, but much lighter. And more syllables. Yes. Um, and then uh, the last kind of thing that they really touched on that I was excited about was the fact that the phone is a lot more repairable, um, which shouldn't impact you on day one, but when it's time to go and you know refurbish that phone and get it ready for the next person in its next life, much easier. And also that's like, I feel like Apple never used to do that. Like this is a kind of a big change for them. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a welcome change for sure. So Claire, you've heard a lot from me being the tech expert. Let's hear some stuff about sustainability from the sustainability expert. <laughs> um, yeah, so I thought it was interesting that Apple talked about sustainability at all. I mean, they made a huge show of it. They literally had Octavia Spencer there um, to talk about how they're ahead of schedule and using recycled materials, which is really impressive, right? Like it's great that they are kind of putting that foot forward but it was cherry picked. You know, we heard a lot about what they're putting into new phones. They're still making new phones and that has the largest um, environmental impact of anything that Apple is doing. The majority of a smartphone's carbon impact comes from the manufacturer over 80%. And the other thing they talked a lot about was net zero, which looks really great when you put like a little green circle or whatever next to it. Yep. But net zero doesn't mean that no damage occurred. It means that you damage the environment and you're using the carbon offset market to say that you have neutralized it. They talk about restoring habitats, but they didn't talk about whether they're dealing with e-waste that piles up in many of the countries in which these phones are manufactured and things like that. So I think it's just really important to be critical when we think about net zero and understand that like damage still occurred and the places that these materials are being taken from aren't necessarily being restored to like environmental health. So are you saying that buying a refurbished phone will still have these great green environmental impacts that you know they're touting in this brand new phone? When you buy refurbished, it means that you're getting the most out of the, de the resources that were already extracted. Obviously that device had an impact too, but instead of buying new and doubling that impact, you are mitigating it by not causing additional environmental damage. It's not perfect, none yeah, of it's definitely. perfect, but when it comes down to weighing refurbished versus new, refurbished is always gonna win when it comes to sustainability, no matter how many celebrities you wanna put in an ad. So should I go buy the iPhone 15 right now? Probably not. There's a lot of other really good options that are, you know, a much better impact on the environment and much more sustainable, like the iPhone 13 or 14, which you can still get refurbished for a much better deal. Amazing. So obviously our verdict is later. later. Throw some candy. Yeah, absolutely.